In this video, I will show you how you can use Storia's Traffic Booster, which is a powerful tool that can help you boost traffic and sales for your Shopify store or any other platform that you are using. So I'll show you how you can set it up and I'll give you my honest opinion about if it's worth it or not. Now it is being used by more than 500,000 merchants worldwide. And in this tutorial, I'll just walk you through setting it up and how you can optimize the Traffic Booster app. And that should help you increase your sales. So if you're not familiar with the platform, it's basically a tool that helps you scale your business with Google Ads and Facebook Ads using their AI technology. So it's designed to improve your store's visibility and reach the right audience at the right time. And it will optimize your ad campaigns 24 seven so that you can focus on other aspects of your business. Now, in order to set it up, just search for traffic booster and click on the story link right here. Then in order to get started, you can just click on get traffic now. And now here are the steps that you want to go and follow. So first choose the type of business you wish to advertise. So e-commerce or service provider, I will go with e-commerce. Then the category that you are in. So you have books, you have gifts, flowers, and a bunch more. Now if your category isn't in here, just click on other. But for example, let's say that I am in the flowers business then I can do that. Now here, enter your store's domain. So that should be your Shopify store domain if you are using Shopify. If you're using a different e-commerce platform, then just enter the store URL from that one. Now what I would recommend is to put the homepage URL of your website so that the Traffic Booster AI will scan the entire product catalog that you offer. So just enter your URL right there. Then you can also choose to add additional pages. So if you wish to propose particular categories or products to be promoted, please add up to three of them here. So if there's a few products that in specific you really want to promote, then you can add those if you want. And then here you have some additional audience targeting. So first choose the country of your target audience. Then you can select multiple ones if you want. For example, I'll go with the United States and Canada. Then choose the age of your target audience. So whichever age range buys your products the most, I'll say 25 to 34, 35 to 44, and 45 to 54. Then choose the gender. Now I'll just select both right here. Now optionally, you can also include five to 10 keywords or phrases separated by commas. And ideally each keyword should consist of two to four words. So instead of shoes, write white tennis shoes, Nike shoes. So for example, I will say flower, so for example, I will write flower bouquet. Then you can write a bunch more keywords that kind of have to do with what you are selling. Then right here, you can select a plan that you want to be using. So you have basic at $120 per month, and this is an estimated 250 to 500 visitors. Then standard is $335 for the first month. And here you will get 700 to 1400 visitors. And the pro plan is $1,000 for the first month. And this will get you 2000 to 4000 visitors. Now I recommend just starting with the basic plan and you will probably like it. And if you do, then you can just go and upgrade to the pro plan or the standard plan, whichever one you want. And you only need to upgrade if you are actually making a return on your money. Now the prices include a 33% discount for the first month. So for this example, I will use this website right here, which is a flower store that is being hosted on Shopify. So again, just enter the home screen of your website so that the AI can analyze all of the products that you have in your catalog right here and that are featured on your home screen. So after entering all of this, simply go and click on get traffic in the bottom. Now here, enter your payment details so you can pay with credit card or with PayPal right here. Now it's important to mention that all the plans do come with an included ad budget. So it isn't like an agency, for example, where you pay the agency a few thousand dollars per month to run your ads. And then you also need to pay for the actual ad budget. But here the ad budget is just included in your subscription. So just go and add your payment details here to get started. Now, after you do that, you have created your traffic booster account. Now here I am in my account. And now what you can do is actually launch your campaign. So after you have started your subscription, your ad campaign will launch about 48 hours. And that's once it gets approved by Google. And from that point, Traffic Booster will continuously optimize your ads automatically. So the longer you use it for, the better it will be. Now here in this account, you can see 634,000 visitors driven from the 3rd of February. You can see how much you have spent, the total number of orders and the total revenue. 
And then down here you will see your ROAS, which is your return on ad spend. Now you can even see how it is split up. So from search, it's 31% and from Facebook retargeting, 28%. And if you just set up one ad campaign yourself, then you probably wouldn't have this advanced Facebook retargeting. So this is a really good ROAS, first of all. And I definitely recommend trying out the traffic booster, especially since you can get started for only $120 per month. So that's $4 per day. Now here you can just track your key metrics like your impressions, your conversions and ROAS. Now to make changes in your campaigns, what you can do is head to the dashboard and then click on edit settings in the top right. And now from here, you can just make changes to your account. So you can click add settings anyway. Now, usually it will take some time to launch the campaign and optimize it. So personally, I wouldn't do this within the first week. Now, it's also really easy to just talk to their support team. Just click support right here. And then here you can just ask them a question and then they will just answer that through here. So it's super easy. You can just leave a message right there and then here enter your name, email address, your store URL, and then how can we help? You can also add an attachment such as a screenshot and then they will get back to you. Now also on the Shopify app store, you can see it has over 200 reviews, which is quite a lot with 4.2 stars out of five, which is a really good score. So you can see, for example, this review right here, we have been using Storia for our advertising needs and the results have been outstanding. Their system has generated campaigns achieving a remarkable 21x ROAS with an average of 12x ROAS over the last 90 days. So that is an insanely high ROAS and I recommend just trying it out. And if you can get a similar ROAS to that, then that is absolutely amazing. Now Storia has some more products that they have created. You can see those right here. So for example, an SEO image optimizer, AI chat GPT description and more. So you can check those out as well. But I also 100% recommend trying out the traffic booster since the results have been really good for many people and it's not that big of an investment. So now you know how you can actually get started with the traffic booster, how you can set it up for your store. And I've given you my honest opinion about it. So whether you handle ads yourself or you use an agency, I recommend giving the traffic booster a try to enhance your ROAS and you can just use it for a few months and it will keep on optimizing it. So they offer a 33% discount on all of their plans for the first month. So it's a great time to try them out. And again, in this video, you have learned how you can get started with it and set it up. And it's really, really simple. So that concludes this review and tutorial of Traffic Booster. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.